What is up, friends? Friends, it is your boys E3Gs here, and today we are going to be trying out the new bell after the patch. So, hopping into some team deathmatch here, real quick. Um, I have not seen how much recoil it has. Supposedly, it's got a lot more recoil, but I'm not too skeptical. I feel like the bell is going to be very overpowered still not overpowered but still a very great gun so i have not used it yet but we're gonna get our chance here in a second uh there's one hmm. close range still normal oh yeah you can tell you can tell a little bit it's if you hold the trigger down with it a little bit um it's still kind of a little more kick i, I want to try to get like a longer shot here for you guys it's not too bad, but you can tell there's something different a little bit with it, like, uh, the way the bullets, like, register, like, long range-wise, you can tell for sure that the bow has had a nerf, but, um, it's still gonna be good. I can still use it fairly well. Uh, we'll see in competitive matches how I do with it, because, like, little nerfs like this in a game you play for hours a day and stuff, oh, it kicks a little bit faster that's what i can tell because usually my shots are pretty on at long range with this and it's a little bit off but i do have the grip attachment which i was talking about in yesterday's video you guys um for like substituting it for red dot when the patch comes out because i have a feeling people that are very used to the red dot are going to be switching to the grip iron sights because uh that's taking up too many slots uh for your uh, custom class if you're using red dot quick draw and then stock and if you want to still keep the quick draw and stock you're gonna have to swap out it with grip if your aim's not on without grip so i this is with grip you guys um i think i have a let me see if i have a class without grip yeah we'll try the red dot here see how much different it is without grip because with the grip it's still very good you can tell there's a little bit oh my goodness yeah you're i mean the grip's not Without grip, it's not bad, but you can definitely tell that there's a pretty big, oh my gosh, pretty big kick in it. <laughs> but it's still usable. Very good gun. I feel like there's going to be some um, trial and error guns in the next couple of days to see what doesn't kick as much as the battle. Because I feel like the ASM-1 SMG may come out, because that's a very good SMG. Uh, decent range one. I feel like people are going to try to use that. Uh, maybe try to pull out the AK-12 a little bit at long range because this red dot is kind of hard to control, I'm not gonna lie. It's it's not easy, but it's not like completely impossible to control. But it's got like a normal recoil to the gun, so long range wise, a little bit more difficult. Short range wise, it's still the same, I think, in my opinion, with the red dot or without grip. So that's just my opinions on it. I know everyone's gonna make a video about this today, but since I am a competitive COD player, and this is basically the only gun we use in competitive Call of Duty. Uh, I had to make some sort of a review on it because I use, this is the only gun I use, and I can tell that there's a little bit of a change, but not a drastic change to the gun because it's still usable, it's still very good, but I feel like people that uh, are used to the red dot sight without grip, I feel are gonna struggle a little bit right away, but you can still adapt with the recoil and such, but I feel like to actually hang with other people that are using the iron sights and grip, I feel like a lot more players are going to just convert over to the iron sight side of the battle. So that's just my opinion, you guys. Uh, but I'm just kind of giving you guys a little bit of gameplay. The patch came out today, if you guys were wondering. It was an update earlier this morning, and it increased recoil basically in the battle. It's basically all it did. It didn't do too much else besides the recoil. There's no like damage decreases or anything like that. So if you guys were wondering, it's basically just a recoil. And then I think they slowed the rate of fire down a little well bit on done. it. But uh, that's just my first game with the bell and <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> what you call it. How, how the new patch feels, I guess. That's kind of how my first playthrough hey, of it is. I just gotta meet those guys really quick. But yeah, I mean, not bad. Not bad. It's definitely usable still. It's going to be a lot difficult, like I said earlier, for people that are used to the red dot without grip. I mean, it's still definitely usable. You may see people substitute quick draw for grip, but I feel like you kind of need quick draw in this game just because there's so many different or verticality areas on maps to uh, play different areas and stuff like that of the map and just different situations. You're going to need quick draw in this game. So 
like I said, people are going to convert from red dot to iron sights. I think that's how it's going to go, but um, that's just my opinions. If you guys did like the video, I really would appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up. Just my review of it, since I do use it every single day, the only weapon I pretty much use. But you may see some competitive players use different guns besides the battle. It's going to be interesting. We're going to see what different weapons do a better uh, long distance like laser shot like this gun used to do and then we're going to see people using different variations of smgs since the a couple smgs did get a little bit of a buff so i hope you guys enjoy this video like comment and subscribe if you guys are new and you would like to see videos similar to this one but as always guys this has been your boy izzy 3gs and bren's friends we will see you guys later peace out